today we're going to do a glutes and legs 30 minute hit. And glutes and legs were requested by Jessica. So Jessica, this is for you. But everybody loves to work their glutes and their legs. So yay! We're going to do a couplet workout. We're going to start with a minute of jumping rope just to kind of warm up. And we'll finish with a minute of skipping rope. So we'll have all of these couplets. Now each couplet, I'm going to show you the board in a second, but each couplet is two exercises and we're going on 50-10 and you go through each one twice before you move on. Okay, so each couplet equals four minutes. Does that sort of make sense? Okay, so here is the board. Can you see it? Yes, you can see it. So example, this is our first couplet, box jump and dynamic squats. So you'll do box jumps for 50 seconds, 10 seconds rest, go to dynamic squats, then go back to jump squats, back to dynamic squats, and then you move on, okay? That's how we're gonna roll. All right, I did kind of run through and make sure that I was completely set up for this, so I don't think I need anything else. I think it's mostly body weight except the jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, do high knees. Also, I wanted to tell you that during this time, during this challenge, I am also training for triathlon. So I'm going to be doing running, bike, and swimming each of the days also. So maybe with me as like support, maybe you could choose to do probably 30 minutes of cardio of some sort each day in addition to our hit. <gasps> fun! I think I have kind of a sick idea of fun, but anyway, so we're going to get started. We're going to start with a minute of skipping rope or 50 seconds. 30 seconds. So that I'll start in. Here we go. I just started skipping rope and my cat just lost it. She ran up the stairs. Whoa. dynamic squats. Five seconds, get ready. Here we go, start with feet together. You're going to jump out, sink your tush down behind you, and reach for the floor, and back in, okay? You don't have to get all the way down to touch the floor if you don't want to or if you can't, but you need to keep your chest and your face showing. You don't want to bend like this, okay? So. If your chest and your face are showing, that means that you're properly squatting, weight in the heels and tush going down. Speed it up. Come on. Ooh, I'm feeling my run. I was gone from YouTube for a little while and I actually didn't do any hit workouts during that time. So this is gonna be a struggle for me, this whole 30 minutes. Back to box jumps. Whew. 
if you don't have a box, you can always jump up a stairs, you know, jump up a couple levels on your stairs if you have stairs. The way that it echoes in here, it sounds like I'm landing really hard, but I'm not. Sorry about the hat, too. I went running, and once I put a hat on for the day, that's it. If I took it off, it would be hat hair, and hat hair is just really nothing anybody wants to see. Okay. Last time for dynamic squats, and then we move on.
lower it down, press in and stand it up, lower it down, oh, stand it up, lower it down, just so you know, many people, almost everybody has one leg stronger than the other, so if you do, you're just one of the club. Oh, I can completely do pistol squats on my right leg, full regular pistol squats, and I can't on my left at all. I have to do them this way. Okay. Did I do both sets? I did both sets. Okay. Leg over lunge. Okay. This for this exercise, I usually have something tall in front of me, and I do a roundhouse kick around it and go back, but I'm gonna have to imagine because I don't have anything here. So I'm gonna stand on my left leg, I'm gonna do a round pass kick around the tall thing, back into the lunge. Big round kick, back into the lunge. So just imagine that you're going over something about hip height. I did this over my son sitting in Indian style once and it was hilarious. He was like, oh, don't kick me, mom. Oh. I'm not looking forward to the next exercise. Just being honest. Oh. Okay, plank jacks. I think I can move this. Okay, that way I'll be able to see better. So you just come to plank. Nice, solid, flat plank. Jump your feet out and in. Push into this heel, yeah, 
launch yourself back up. Then go the other way. Down, launch. So you're only using the leg that's bending to get you up. Fight the urge to use that straight leg to pull you up. Because if you do, you're just not going to get the same benefit. Get down there. Push into that heel. Okay, now we're going to go to tippers. I'm going to start on my right leg. Your little leg, literally just tipping over to touch the ground as your leg comes up high. Tip. And then I like to pull the knee up high so I know I'm not touching the ground. Tap. Tip. Whoa. Ooh, use the wall. Cheating. Oh, this is an awesome hamstring stretch for any of those of you who have tight hamstrings like I do. During this, if you feel like your foot is really moving all over the place, that's what we want. You want to be using all the different surfaces and points in the bottom of your foot to activate the muscles all the way up your leg. Holy cow. Ah! Okay, other side. Not the other side. We're going to go back to these. Sinking it deep. Bring it up. Push. I think I was using my straight leg a couple times there. Really make sure that you're only getting yourself back up to standing using the bent leg. It is such a fantastic exercise if you do it correctly. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm going to stand on the left leg and do my tippers and you guys are going to see the strength difference. Here we go. Tap. Ooh. Up. Tap. Eight seconds, stay with me. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pause the time and get a sip of water and then come right back. Okay? We have three more couplets I'm skipping to do. Okay, guys. When I, when I stopped to get water, my hamstring on my right leg like seized up and was very angry at me. So I stretched it for a minute. But um, we have three couplets left and they're pretty heavy on the legs still. So I'm going to do the best I can. So you do the best you can. If I have to stop and stretch, you keep going if you can, okay? So um, don't stop just because I'm stopping. I'm going to do the very best I can and if I can't get through all of these because of my hands drink. I'm gonna be really cross, so I'm gonna try. Okay, I drink my water. So we have bridge kicks and um, reverse plank. Couplet is next. Alrighty, here we go. Resume. All right. Whoa. Bridge kicks. So you're gonna find a bridge. Like this one leg goes up and just switch. And you can go 
as fast or slow as you want. what I can see because over there my cat is eating a spider. Ew! <laughs> she totally caught it and she was playing with it and batting it around and then now she's eating. <laughs> gross! Gross kitty. You're gross. Kitty eating a spider. Oh. Well that's one less spider for me to deal with. So that's good. Oh my gosh. Here we go, bridge kicks. Are you ready? Do it, do it, do it, do it. <sighs> Try to jump it, don't just <laughs> kick it like I'm like this. Try to jump it, here, push off. Hips high. 20 seconds. Oh my gosh. Come on. Don't stop if you don't have to. 10 seconds. I got this. I got this. Nice flat plank, 
One leg goes up and circles. Oh my gosh. Come up when you have to. I have to. Circle. Oh my gosh. I'm trying guys, I really am. Keep going. again and then plank circles on the other side. Here we go. circles. You guys, after this one, we have five more minutes left. I think. If I didn't do it wrong. My eyes are burning. Okay. Okay, circles. My circles are more like weird hexagons, <laughs> not fluid circles at all. Maybe I'll just try to hold plank <laughs> for the rest of the time. 15 seconds holding plank. <laughs> Can't do circles anymore. Down, you're gonna jump, switch legs to the other. Here, jump. Make sure you're jumping and not just standing. again in one minute or one second. Ready? Let's go. 
And try not to tip over like this because if you're standing up and you do this, you're going to get that tight squeeze in the side of your tush. And you kind of get like a fun oblique crunch as well. Oh my gosh. We're almost through with this 30 minutes. Thank God. Thanks a lot, Jessica. Just teasing. and then a minute of skipping rope, rope and then we're done. <sighs> Jessica, the one that suggested the glutes and legs workout, had a baby this year. So I'm sure that's why she was like, yeah, get the body back. But I saw pictures of her and I suspect she never lost her beautiful body throughout her whole pregnancy. My first pregnancy, I looked exactly like this, just with the belly. And my second pregnancy, I was over 200 pounds when I gave birth. So, <sighs> legs are just cooked right now. Come on, Sarah, focus. Oh. Just skipping rope, and I'm going to try to do a better job than I did in the first round, although I'm kind of cooked. Oh, this feels like victory. One minute left. I think it's easier on the carpet than it is on the hardwood to skip rope. like I always do in my head. Can you guess what it is? It's not on top of spaghetti this time. Oh my gosh. Burning calves. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Okay guys, so Activity completed. Yay! Okay, so this was our first 30 minutes. My legs are just dying for stretching, so I'm going to stretch. Um, I've never done a, a full stretching video because I feel like it would be really boring. If you guys want to see a stretch video for legs or back or whatever, just let me know and I'll make one. But I'm going to go do that now. I'm going to get on my foam roller and do some rolling, and then I'm going to stretch. So, yay, 30 minute challenge. We're doing five days of this, and tomorrow I'm going to try to make it less leg and glute heavy. Okay, see you guys tomorrow.